plaintiff, George Roberts, says he and the defendant are both members of a family fraternity that is community spirited, and they helped start a city in Illinois. George claims he and the defendant went to a convention together out of town, and the defendant agreed to split their hotel bill, but he failed to do so. Defendant Wade McFarland says he's only been a member of the fraternity for 10 years, and he and George were friends who often had breakfast and lunch together. However, Wade blames George for having to get a hotel room on the way home from the convention, and therefore he refuses to pay. All right, let's start with you. Mr. McFarland and I have known each other for 10 to 15 years. We're both members of a family fraternity, the Loyal Order of Moose. Mr. McFarland uh, became disenchanted and for some reason, when I met him a couple of years later, he wanted to get back in the fraternity and do something with it. The fraternity is a family fraternity, community-spirited family fraternity, has precepts of the brotherhood of man and the fatherhood of God. One of our crown jewels of the fraternity is located 40 miles southwest of Chicago, a city wholly owned by the Loyal Order of Moose, has its own bank stores, post office, highway department, street department, anything that any normal city has, with two exceptions, Mooseheart has. Those two exceptions are it doesn't have a police department because they don't need it, and it doesn't have a dope problem and they don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask, how'd you guys pull that off? I'm not an egomaniac, but I have a, a street named after me in Detroit, <laughs> but I wouldn't mind my own city. <laughs> I'm serious, Doyle and I, if we wanted to sign up, you can do it for us? Yes, sir. All right, we may follow up with yeah, that. Right. I, at least I'll be able to say I own, me and my buddies judge, own baby. a city. I might not be able to say it's after me, but I'll say me and my buddies own a city. <laughs> if you know anything about me, I'm a community man. Yes, sir. Give him these, please. All well, right. They're copies of our last two monthly publications. Okay. That tells you a little bit about okay. Moose Heart. Anything you want to tell me? Tell me a little bit about your friendship with uh, the plaintiff. Well, we've, we're, we've developed a friendship. We had breakfast together, lunches together, uh, and I'm really shocked that this has gone as far as it's gone, but... Haven't had any disputes other than this? No, this is it. This and is buddies. Buddies. <laughs> now, why are you suing your buddy for a hotel bill? Well, what happened? We... Uh, July the 2nd, we went to Nashville to the International Convention, and Fred agreed to drive. He's a disabled, over-the-road truck driver, and he could get us there. Now, there are meetings and events planned all the way through Tuesday of the following week. Now, Fred drives, and he drives until he gets tired and he pulls into a hotel. And as I had done with the other hotel, I paid the bill. And they agreed to Help pay well, the bill. They didn't agree, nor did they disagree. <laughs> uh, but now you want half the money for the no, hotel. One third. One third. I gave him a copy of the bill, bill Let's see it. with the uh, initial receipts. Okay. Okay. I'm All right. And, and he won't pay you. Let's see what he says today, sir. We were there Friday night. We were going to stay Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and leave at 6 o'clock Monday morning. Well, on Saturday, George was awarded first place for his position. <coughs> well, 
At six o'clock, we check out on Monday morning, to make a long story short. He went, had to go to a luncheon at 10 o'clock, and he didn't reappear until six o'clock that night, Monday night. We didn't know where he was. We didn't know what they were doing. Nobody would told us anything. So we left, on, we left Friday night, on Monday night at six o'clock. We got about five and a half hours out of Nashville. The driver got tired. We got a room. When he came to me to split the bill, I said, George, I don't owe you for that bill. The only reason he wanted to go there Monday, he wanted to hear his name one more time. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> that's, that's not nice. His ego isn't like that. There's that's nothing not wrong. And, and you know, <laughs> After 48 years, he deserved to hear it, hear it one more time. I want to say that. Right. Okay, <laughs> but but this other this other six hours, we could have been on the road and we'd have been home Monday night. Okay. All right. So I got your point now. Now you seem to be principled men, and that's why you're here to make sure that you are doing right by each other. Well, I can't rule on that. What I can rule on, not the principle, but the legal. That's all I can rule on today, is the legal. And in order for you to win, sir, you will have to have made an agreement up front with these gentlemen that they would pay you for the hotel. Maybe the principal thing to do is share it with you. I'm not going to get involved in you all's morals and principles because I believe you're more principled and got better morals than me. Your Honor. <laughs> at your, at your, your age, Honor, at your children. Your Just Honor, having fun with you. I you got a rule. If you look at those I, receipts, I, I you will rule. see that the uh, hotel for that last night has been deducted. All right. And... All that is left is the hotel and the gas for the four nights that we spent at the, ho at the hotel in Nashville. Has nothing to do with the $88 that I paid for the uh, hotel now, on see, Monday night. You're talking money now. I thought it was I'm principle. I'm talking money now. So, uh, now you're getting <laughs> to your money. <laughs> Well, so Your I'm going to get that out the way. I like you gentlemen. I like what you represent. I want the two of us to be friends. I want to go and visit. So I'm going to get the money out of the way. There you go. All Give right. him his money. And the case is dismissed. Have a good day. Case dismissed. Can I keep these? I can keep yes, these? Sir. Yes, All right. sir.